Hey, back to the markets now. Dow Jones Industrial Average off 116. NASDAQ, though, coming back. And a few sectors are looking okay. Airlines are up and discounters are up right now. I want to bring in David Stockman, former Reagan budget director. David, uh, I know uh, the prompter says I should ask you, where do we go from here? But that would be disingenuous, yeah. right? How far down do we go from here, David Stockman? I have no idea, but I know the foundation is not stable. We've got a perfect storm of a madman in the White House who's pursuing trade wars, border wars, a fiscal policy that is totally yeah. out to lunch and attacking the Fed. So, well, no, so let me just stop. Before you run yeah. them all, let's just yeah. hit one at a time. Yeah. It's, it's kind of hard for you to call President Trump a mad Oh, man. absolutely. Because, he is. because he's fighting back against uh, unfair trade. Uh, in, in, intellectual property theft, uh, a, a country that's building man-made militarized islands that all of their neighbors say have imperialistic uh, ambitions. The president of Malaysia said that they're colonizing the world through these debt trap loans. I mean, you don't think that we should be pushing back against China? No, uh, China is not a threat to us whatsoever. If they want to waste their money on sandcastles in the South China Sea, be our guest. You know, that okay. sounds a little chamberless. You know, I mean, you sound like, to, to you say, think, look no, the other no, way. It's China's crazy. economy is a house of cards. It's got 40 trillion of debt. It is the biggest speculative building spree in history. Without our export markets without 4,000 Walmarts and everything else in America, their economy would collapse. They don't dare threaten us. And the they, idea, but the point is, is that they are threatening us. No, they're, they're not. They're presenting a military threat. If you read what's happening, I what read they're it. Doing, I follow it. Every so you day. know what they're doing to the military. You know how they're, uh, they're they're retrofitting a military that's. The main goal will be able to go to war with America, certainly to dominate the Pacific. Uh, you don't well, see, if you, uh, Charles, you know, last week, last week, no, for instance, this is still last let me, week. Let me instance, no, because if you, you say, believe this, you should sell everything in sight. Why? Because, because if because, there is a war between no, because, the United States and China, the whole world financial system will crash, burn uh, beyond anything you saw in the 1930s. It's not going to happen. That, just because you said that it's not going to happen, people didn't think Hitler would invade Poland. I mean, it when you say things like that, do, okay, it's just, it has nothing to do with Hitler, okay? Listen, nothing, nothing, it has something nothing. to do with China's ambitions. China. Ambitions that they have made public. Made in China 2025. We want to dominate the world. They put it out there. Should we ignore it? Should we ignore when they make an island out of nothing and then put war planes on it? It's in should their we, backyard. We do everything we, we want in the Caribbean they're, they're Sea. Their base in the Djibouti is not in their backyard. Oh, uh, okay. the, 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 the port what, they took hey, over Sri Lanka is not in their what backyard. What are you talking about? We have 180 bases around the world. We've got troops, hundreds of thousands. History has told us to be on No, no, no. We are not the imperial policemen of the world. No, we're That's not the policemen of the world. That's why we're going bankrupt. We're Everything we've done is world. a failure. Syria is a failure. Iraq is a failure. Libya is a failure. The whole mess in the Persian Gulf is a failure. We don't need to be tacking Iran. We're not, okay? we're not, we're not uh, well, listen, yes. here's the point. Here's the point. Yeah. We don't have to be in, the imperialistic police of the world, but we have to pay attention. History does repeat itself. Right now, the biggest threat to the world, to the global free world, at least I would think, would be China over the next 20 years. In uh, many ways, economically no. and militaristically. No, no. The same thing they said when I was in the White House in 1981 about uh, the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union collapsed because communism okay. doesn't work. China is a house of cards that's going to collapse on its own. We need to do nothing but stand by, hold our ground, and the whole system is going to come unwound because David, it I doesn't hope you're, work. I hope you're right, but you know what? <laughs> if you're the president of the United States, you can't bet on that alone. And yes, you can. And it's not you... madness to be to, to try oh, to protect he's, your country. He's out to lunch. He's totally out to we lunch. We got to live it there, buddy. Okay. All right.